most people using Google Keep end up launching the app like this. And then they end up tapping on the floating action button in the bottom corner down here, and then selecting the text option before they are able to start typing into their note. But what if I tell you that there's another way? And what if that method only took one tap? You can set up Google Keep so that when you launch this icon, it actually opens up in a brand new note for you to start typing into. And I'll show you how that's done here today. Back in 2016, when Google made Android 7.1 Nougat official, the company added a new feature called App Shortcuts. And this allows developers to add specific actions for their applications. And then Android would make those accessible when you performed a long press gesture on the application icon itself. You'll see this available with many Android apps out there they just need to be configured by the app developer themselves. But something that many people do not realize is these app shortcuts can be dragged onto the home screen and they'll act like their own application from there. This is exactly what the developer team behind the Google Keep application has done and you can do this yourself by finding the Google Keep icon and performing that long press gesture that I mentioned. You're going to see a pop-up appear like this. And one of these is for creating that new text note, as you can see there. So if you wanted from here, you could just type on that entry and you'll start that brand new note from there. And you can just start typing. However, if you perform a long press gesture on that icon, you can drag that to anywhere on the home screen. And then you have access to that app shortcut anytime just like that. You'll always get a new note each time that you launch into that app shortcut. I like using note taking apps on my smartphone for various things that I need to jot down. But I know there are some of you in the community who choose not to because of the process of unlocking your phone, finding the note taking app icon, launching it, waiting for the app to load, tapping on that icon to create a new app so you can type into it, and then finally beginning to type that note. Some folks just do not like how long that process can take. So they opt for handwritten notes or even using a note taking widget on their home screen just because it's quicker and it's easier for them. So if this tip was something that you were not aware of, or something that you think would be very useful, then please hit that like button and share the video with anyone and everyone that you think should know about this software trick. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel either if you haven't done so already.